wants to see the real Kong. Well, for that, we need to ask science about the probability of its existence. That's a monumental adventure we need to explore by addressing a gigantic question. What if King Kong were real? Zoom in! Since its debut in 1933, this gentle giant has grown from merely 25 feet to a whopping 337 feet in one of the latest flicks. With every inch added to its monstrosity, moviegoers around the world have pondered the possibility of coming face to face with this eighth wonder of the world. So, for fun, let's explore whether science supports the feasibility of King Kong's existence. Firstly, let's discuss the giant ape that once existed, known as Giganto Pythicus. Black Eye, which stood as tall as 10 feet and weighed up to 595 pounds. Sadly, approximately 100,000 years ago, this species went extinct due to scarcity of food and a failure to migrate, leaving us with little to no knowledge about their time on Earth. Currently, Gorillas hold the title as the largest living apes, reaching heights of around 5 feet on average and weighing between 220 to 600 pounds. Sustaining such a massive body requires a significant intake. On average, an adult male gorilla consumes approximately 50 pounds of food daily, which amounts to about one-eighth of its body weight. This means that comparatively, Kong with his 337-foot body would need at least 3,370 pounds of food per day to survive. To put that in human terms, it's like eating about 15,000 Big Macs. This could be the reason King Kong is mostly depicted as a lonely creature on Skull Island, as the available resources in this place wouldn't be sufficient for many of his kind to live. However, even if we manage to sort the food supply, great size bring great mask, and with great mask comes the problem of supporting it on two legs. This implies that Kong would have a difficult time moving quickly, and in a worst case scenario, he might not even be able to stand. Even if he possesses strong bones to support his weight, attempting to hop like a monkey would likely cause him to crumble. The upside is that as long as he didn't move around much, Kong could probably survive just fine. However, that wouldn't last long due to the strain on his massive heart. Yes, in a creature as Massive as Kong, gravity presents a significant challenge for his heart to maintain effective blood circulation. His heart would need to pump blood at much higher pressure. Otherwise, the blood might struggle to reach the higher points of his body, potentially leading to issues such as fainting or insufficient oxygen supply to vital organs. One solution for this could involve walking on all fours, which might reduce the pressure on his heart and circulatory system, encountering less opposition from gravity. Additionally, his respiratory system might function more efficiently, potentially enabling easier breathing. Not only that, adopting a quadrupedal stance would enable Kong to distribute his weight more evenly, granting him greater ease and mobility. However, despite potentially mitigating some issues, the sheer scale of his body would likely continue to pose significant physiological challenges, rendering it implausible for such a creature to exist 
from an evolutionary perspective. So, the only place to witness King Kong is in movies. Trivia time! Did you know King Kong was created by an American filmmaker, Marion C. Cooper? Cooper also cast himself as the pilot who takes down Kong in the film's climax. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Arya Yadav. Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.